All right, you two, here we go. Here go the chassis. You have a bottom lock right here, you have a top lock. You have another lock right here. I'll explain that in a minute. You have another lock right here, which is locked in by this. I'll explain that in a minute. Another lock, crane dude down there working. Wait on that guy. Another lock, and you have a rail that slides back. So when you have a single 20 on here, so you get to a customer, you can slide it all the way back. That brings you to this point right here. You can't slide it back. These rails, you can't slide it back with these things up. So I'm gonna start here. If I was holding a 40 footer, these would be up like they are. The back of the box would go right here. The front of the box will sit on this rail and it'll lock in right here. When I'm holding a 40 footer, it locks in right here. He ain't got no chassis anyway. I don't know where he's down that door. So the other side over there is right here. You got this right here for the 20 on top. I'll get to that in a minute. But you have right here, see the lock over there? You have a lock right here. Push it in. That's for the 40 footer. It sits on the rail right here. Sit down there. Alright, your tube is a little windy. Spot is going back. Anyway, so that's how you do a 40. 40, 40 foot go all the way from the front. All these gotta be down. Like this right here. Push this up like this. Push that up and you turn it. Hold on. Push it up. Try to do a hold on guys, stay tuned. But anyway, I'll get to that in a minute. These pushes up, push up, like this. And you gotta turn it in order to get the two the 240s. But that crane do whipping them cranes. We ripping that boy. But anyway, so this is how this go. But I'll show you guys, I'll show you this in a minute, guys. So anyway, if I was hauling a, a, a 120 footer loaded, I wanna put an empty, I could put an empty in the middle, but if I was hauling a loaded one, it had to go on this one. And this one. One, two, the third one. And this. In order to get these up, you gotta push it to push it with the bottom. Hold on guys, I can't hold on. I'm trying to hold the camera and do something. Hold on. You gotta turn this bottom one so that it sits on here. And then you turn this right here. The whole thing gotta turn first. Let's see if I can do it again. Push up. Watch, watch the turn. The turn. Then it drops down. You can do the same thing for all four pins. But if you're not pulling a single 20 loaded, you have to leave these down so that 40 footer can lay on top of here. Cause you can't put a 40 foot on top if these are already up. Like this. Let me show you again. See? You gotta turn the whole thing. So that way, it locks on on here so it won't drop back down. Then once that's up there, take this right here, and you turn this. And it locks in here. See? Turn it from another angle. Turn it. And it locks down right there. So, but since I'm not using that, and he's about, he's about to get my 40 footer over there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drop this back down. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn it. Actually, I'm, I'm sorry. Turn it back this way. Push up. Turn it. Drop back down. Now, if I was hauling two 20 empties, I'll turn this like this. 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 Like this
right there, so they can set the box on there. And once it's on there, I will lock it down. And these right here, these two are going on this one right here. I had to do that one. And then that's where this one come to play. If I was hauling the 220s. See, this is sideways. You're probably wondering, how do you get that up? I was wondering the same thing when they gave it to me. Let me tell you the truth. So that's what you do. This right here, in order to get this up, it's a lock right here. It's a pin. Take the pin. Pull it out. Like that. Take this out. Like that. You pull it out. I pulled it out some. You take it. You turn it up. Push it back in. You see? Now it's sitting up. High enough to be level with the one in the front. So if you level with the one in the front, sit up like this. See the other one down? And this one is up. If I have to keep it that way, I'll put this pin back in. But I'm not keeping it that way, so I'm going to put it back down. Pull it out. Turn it sideways. Push it in. Pin in. Turn it. Now I'll put a 20 on this one. And that one in the front. And then I'll lift this one up. Like that. Turn it. I ain't gonna turn it right now. Y'all see the first one. I will turn it. I'll put this one up. This one up. And I will put them to back here. So it'll be this one. And not that one. But the second one. The one I put up. That'll be to haul two 20 foot empties. Now if I was hauling one loaded... 20 by itself in the middle. Of course, you know I can't slide it back with this right here. One, two. In order to get these down, there's another pin right here. I'm gonna find the pin, it's a Carter. Carter pin. Take the Carter pin off. Put the pin back right there. Up, down. Now this is down far enough so I can slide that back to the back when I'm going to a loading dock. But since I'm using it, I gotta put it back up. So I'm gonna take this back out. to carry 220 empties, 120 loaded, and a 40 footer loaded or empty. Now mind you, you could put, I thought I'd get a little footage there real quick while I'm uh, talking. You could put a 20 foot empty in the middle too. It don't always have to be loaded. But you know, they want to suggest you put loaded, loaded, 220 foot loaded trailers, containers. You're not supposed to. It don't say, at least it don't say it on the thing. So, with that being said, oh, he can hear his first. That works out. That means less box to move for mine. So that's good. Anyway, I'll, I'll let this roll a minute, guys, before I keep on jabbing off in my mouth right here. 
So I don't know the, I don't know if the video is windy, guys, but uh, I was trying to get it, but the wind was blowing something serious out there. And uh, so I still showed you guys, though, how to do it. Um, if you ever get one of these chassis, that's how you do it because they ain't tell, they ain't, we ain't get no training on this. They didn't say, hey, uh, we got these certain type of chassis we're gonna rent. You guys gotta use them, so we're gonna train you guys how to use them. They said, go over there, grab that chassis, and go get that box. I get to this chassis, I see all these locks and pins. I said, man, what the? I said, I said, man, what am I supposed to do with this? I mean, I don't know, I ain't have a clue where to start with that. I ain't know how to, man. Anyway, like I say, if you're from Atlanta, make it happen, baby. You make it happen. So, anyway, that's how that went. But, the end of all this, that's how you guys do it, in case you find yourself getting one of them. Now, it's good having this type of chassis, because they give you a 20-footer or a 40-footer. Don't matter. You can convert this thing into either one, whichever one you need. When you convert it, make sure you let them, if you convert it to a 20-foot loaded trailer by itself, container, make sure you put them two latches in the back down. Hold on, guys. Oh, guys, I gotta pull a pull, guys. Hold on. Stay tuned. Sorry about that, but uh, you know how it is. I'm working. While I'm doing this talking, I'm working. So stay tuned. Nice, this is a nice freight liner right here. Nice freight liner, nice truck. I thought I showed it why I had a little moment. You know what I'm talking about? Just a little moment. But anyway, he grabbed my box back there. So anyway, but yeah, if you ever get one of these chassis, man, you see all them locks and bolts and all type of stuff, that's how you use it. I hope I kind of showed it the best of my ability because like I said, I'm working right now. And we're trying to do it before a crane dude get over here. And this time I want him to, you know, the crane dude to hang around. I want the crane dude to hang around, but I also want to get the video at the same time. So, you got to multitask around here. And uh, I hope I did a good job at it, guys. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.